So is it worse if your bike is running rich or running lean? Well, neither are good because they cause a loss of performance and the bike is harder to start. It just doesn't run as well. But generally, it's harder on the engine if it's running lean because it's going to cause it to run hotter. And heat is the biggest enemy of your dirt bike's engine. So can running rich damage the engine of your dirt bike? Well, rarely will this cause a major uh, catastrophic failure if it's running too rich. But it will cause long-term problems, uh, loss of performance, make it harder to start, and it will eventually foul the spark plug, which will make it not run. So can you tell from the spark plug whether your dirt bike's running rich or lean? Well, it's harder to tell these days because of the poor quality pump gas that we're using. But generally, if your spark plug, you take it off of the engine, the cylinder head, and the spark plug is white. This is generally a sign that your bike is running too lean. There's not enough fuel, there's too much air in the mixture, and you need to richen the mixture. Or if the spark plug is black, it's black soot, it kind of it's a coalish color or if it's wet that's a good sign that it's too rich there's too much fuel and you need to lean it out or fix a problem that's causing it to run rich the optimum color is like a tannish brown and if it is that color there's a good chance that you so how bad is it if you know that your jetting is lean? Well, as I mentioned, lean mixture causes your engine to run hotter. So this can cause your bike to overheat more easily, causing it to steam. Uh, you're going to lose coolant. Uh, you're going to have to stop because it's smoking on the trail, especially if you're riding at low speeds. And if you continue to ride it like that, if it gets too hot, for too long, this is gonna cause more wear and tear on the engine, which means that you're gonna have to rebuild parts or replace parts in the engine a lot sooner than if the bike was running cooler. And if it gets excessively hot because there's not enough coolant or it's just way too lean, this could eventually seize the engine, which is when the engine parts get so hot that they start melting and then they weld together. It locks up, it seizes, this is going to not only be an expensive rebuild, but this could cause you to crash because the rear wheel locks up, you stop accelerating, you might fly over the bars. If it happens on a jump, uh, this could lock up and you could fly over the bars. Really bad things can happen. So if you know your bike is running too lean, too hot, please do something now. Fix it before you cause an expensive rebuild or an accident to you or someone else. And whether you have a two stroke or four stroke, it's important to start with the air or fuel screw, which is a finer tuning adjustment of the pilot jet. So you can adjust this before you even uh, take the pilot jet out of the carb. And if you wanna learn how to tune the fuel or air screw in just a few minutes, whether you have a two stroke or four stroke, I got a free guide, a PDF guide, that's really quick, practical, and easy to learn you can grab that in the description below and if you're a trail rider let me know what you want to see next